We're here for the Solemn High Latin Mass, which immediately follows the March on Washington for a lot of the pro-life movement here. And with me is Father Akers. He is just here arrived from where, Scranton? From Pennsylvania, yes, yeah, right, yeah. from Pennsylvania. So tell us about this service that is really, it's bringing community together, it's open to the community, but it's definitely something that people all up and down the East Coast know about and come to following this and in, in what, every, every few years? That's right. So every year there's a March for Life uh, here in Washington, D.C. Uh, to, uh, to show uh, our, our support for life uh, that begins at conception, so for the preborn. So surrounding this March for Life every year, there's Catholics that come from across the country. And specifically, um, to cater to these Catholics coming from all around the country, there are different masses, Catholic masses, all throughout the Washington, D.C. area. This mass specifically here in Chinatown, St. Mary the Mother of God, um, appeals to um, Catholics who feel drawn to the Latin Mass, the, the traditional Latin Mass, the extraordinary form of the Mass, which was offered, uh, the Mass that have been offered for centuries in Latin with Gregorian chant and with incense and beautiful music as well. So there are a lot of uh, communities uh, in there right now worshiping God in this ancient form from up and down the East Coast. I know there's some college students from Ohio, some high school students that came down from Pennsylvania, uh, even from New Hampshire, some college uh, students from New Hampshire. And um, it, the one thing that unites them all is uh, our, our faith, our, our Catholic faith, in traditionally um, this Mass in Latin. So. What does community mean to you? Uh, community is an opportunity to speak and be heard, but also to listen to others, and with the goal of seeking what makes us happy. And what makes us happy is the thing that is good. Um, and then the question about what is good and all those things come about. But it's what really makes us happy. And when we uh, make other people happy, that gives us joy, and, uh, and they desire to make us happy, and that gives them joy. And it's that experience of shared joy or the joy of knowing that you don't suffer by yourself um, that so for me I think that's community what does community mean to you in terms of all the people that are gathered here today so um, wh what I think is uh, is valuable about this community here at st. Mary's is it draws people locally from the Chinese community uh, as I saw just minutes ago uh, as Chinese couple going in awesome. but also uh, it draws both young and old and they come together as a community to worship God in the same way, in this the same way that their grandfathers, their great grandparents, uh, you know, saints in the 1200s would have worshipped God in the same solemn high Latin Mass. Yeah. So, what inspires you to be part of this community? You know, when I was in college. Um, I first was drawn to uh, the Latin Mass, and here at St. Mary's, I would drive over an hour to come to Mass here, it, and it was mysterious to me, and it kind of drew me in to learn more about it. And from there, I, I discerned that God might be calling me to be a priest to offer a Mass just like this. So I'm a member of a community that offers Mass uh, in Latin exclusively, uh, the extraordinary form of the Roman Rite uh, throughout the world. And what do you think is the most difficult piece of hosting an inclusive community event? Um, well, the, the, the difficult logistics, the logistically, if you take a step inside, it's crowded. We need a bigger, we need a bigger venue. So I'm already thinking about next year, what might we do to better serve the community? Although it is very kind of, uh, you know, this community gathering around this beautiful church here uh, in Chinatown. Um, there, it's standing room only, and so is there a better venue for it next year that's close enough, but but also more comfortable for more people to come and to uh, kind of cater to uh, the growing growing crowds of young people that are filling the church. What does community mean to you, Father? It's person centered uh, in Christ, in His truth, and in His charity. And what is inspiring to have you come and hold these services for your community? The most authentic and the deepest community is in the Eucharist. Uh, and those who are centered on Christ in the Eucharist and uh, united with one another by way of receiving Christ in Holy Communion, that's the most profound community that there is. 
what is the most difficult piece about hosting an inclusive community event, meaning that the church's doors are open to literally everyone to walk in? The same obstacles for everybody, which is a conversion of heart. The, 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 the church is open to everybody, absolutely everybody. That's one of the things that the church being Catholic means. The word Catholic means universal. All are invited, all are welcome, but all are also required to make that conversion of heart to, to repent of sin and to, to profess the true faith. So I'm here with Natalie and she just came out of the service and this is a big part of your community I would imagine. Yes. You're from a DOC's back in Detroit? Yes. Right on. So what does community mean to you? Just coming together as God's people. It's just a nice feeling and especially being out here for the march. It's a good way to kind of, you know, reconnect with people, you know, even if you're not technically Catholic, whatever. It's just it's a good way to connect as people of faith. What does community mean to you? It means my church family, my parish. So we have coffee and donuts every Sunday after Mass. And I get to know a lot of the same people. We turn into real life friends and watch each other's kids and have happy hours and that kind of fun stuff. So it definitely is like parish community. Liturgy, for sure. It's interesting you ask that because I actually grew up in a charismatic community that had something you actually signed a promise and that sort of thing so it's a very formal structure. Ricardo what does community mean to you? Community means a group of people. And what inspired you to be here today? Oh what inspired me to be here today? We want to save life. We want to save the children. We go to the abortion clinic to save the babies so that's why I'm here today. What inspired you to be here today? In the, in the first place, it's the, the Mass and uh, the beauty, the timeless beauty of the Mass and being connected with tradition and that when you pray, you're connected with countless generations of Christians who have prayed before you in the same language and in a similar cultural way and you get a sense of being connected. And I always think of um, Chesterton who says that uh, tradition is democracy for the dead. And cool. so when I participate in a traditional liturgy, I feel like I'm participating in a larger form of democracy. Nice. What inspired you to be out here today? Um, I have a younger brother with Down syndrome. He's 13 and they wanted to abort him. So my faith kind of exploded from there when I was in second grade. And from then on, I just love to help people out, help out the unborn. I just love to stand up for, you know, God's people. What inspired you both to be here today? Well, we're, we're pro-life lifers, so we've been going to the march our, I mean, my whole life. Um, but particularly this year, oh my gosh, the open Supreme Court seat, like, oh, right. period. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's there, it's there for the taking, so it has to happen. We need to be here this year. Oh, yeah. We're pro-lifers, big time, but uh, especially this year, I feel like we can actually affect more change having a Republican president in than democratic. And what do you think the most difficult piece of hosting an inclusive community event is? Just a lot of uh, the secular things that happen around in the community such as where I go to school and stuff like that and just other communities around the world and what happens. 
uh, just a lot of uh, you know relativism and modernization of society. So I think it's important to stay grounded in your faith and your morals and just stick to what God tells you to do. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And what is the most difficult thing about hosting an inclusive community event where regardless of views and politics, everyone is welcome? Yeah. That's I think the most difficult I think the most difficult thing is for people to be able just to be charitable. It's really hard to be charitable when it comes down to brass tacks around the fact that like there is a it's just very hard to find common ground when you're most passionate, you know, when this is the topic. So it is hard for everyone to be charitable and just really speak kindly to each other. It's just the truth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unity is the number the number one obstacle. You have people uh, zeroing in on some random issue. You know, I saw a guy with a Pope is the Antichrist sign, you know, and I'm like, we're here for life, not for these random little subtopics that you might happen to think. Uh, so it's, it's unity is the biggest thing, you know. And how can you bring in someone with views that are different from your own, that maybe they're maybe pro-life but they're open to abortion in certain cases? Well, how can you include those people as part of this community? Is there kind of a hard line or is everyone... I, I think you got to have a hard line, yeah. yeah. I think you do. If you waffle on that, then I to me the whole thing falls apart so. I do have a lot of friends and co-workers though that um, are pro-choice and we have friendships and we talk about it reasonably like adults and we say we're going to talk about it and we don't tread and but but we're also like I knew she was going to the women march last weekend and she knows I'm here today and we just try to love each other as best we can and then I just I always tell myself I just pray the scales fall from their eyes because Christ has to do the conversion not me so in terms of democracy and of course, community with everyone that is out there that is seeking happiness, and of course, these doors are open. What is the most difficult piece of hosting an inclusive community event? Um, I think it's the fear that you could build something and no one will come. You know, there's always that saying of if you build it, they will come, but there's a fear that oh, maybe we'll build it and nobody will come. But we have to know that the truth is bigger than us, and the truth has the power to speak beyond our own words and our own ability to express ourselves. So if we just put it out there and get out of the way, then, you know, people are smart. People are smart and we just have to trust them that they're really being honest with themselves when they look for happiness and that truth has the power to reach them. That's so cool. I love yeah. that answer. <laughs> Thanks it. for sharing with me. Sure.